Darren Scott here with Clear H2O Tackle, Tackle coming to you from our shop here in Michigan. Whether you're a tournament bass angler that travels the country, a Lake Erie walleye fisherman, Great Lakes salmon fisherman, or whatever else you might chase around, we're here to help you. Feel free to contact us via our Facebook page, website, or telephone. We're happy to talk with you and walk you through your needs. Tight lines and have a great season. Michigan Outdoors, Luke Lawson here, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro from Spokane, Washington. I know you've probably heard of the TRD, uh, turd, you know, a lot of names for it, but a little small bait that does a lot of nothing except for catch a lot of fish. One cool thing I've been doing up north back home, uh, kind of the same kind of waters you guys see there with a lot of jigs, craw trailers, uh, that stuff, is put the TRD on the back of a small jig. This is a Dirty Jigs compact pitching jig, Luke Clausen compact pitching jig. And uh, you put a TRD on the back of it, it changes the profile of the jig. It really is almost more like a tube when it comes through the water as it tapers all the way to the back. So totally different profile. Uh, I've thrown it around a lot, where places that I've thrown the TRD and had some success and have gotten just as many and times more bites on this and definitely more bites than a craw trailer. Uh, that different profile is just more streamlined, more subtle in the water. Uh, it makes the package a little bit smaller in general, but just kind of a do-nothing jig, just as the bait itself is. Uh, work, has worked equally as well for smallmouth as it has for largemouth for me. I think uh, probably better, more impressive on smallmouth than largemouth, even just the number of bites to get on a jig, a, a small compact jig like this. I've also thrown on a finesse jig. You can make it even smaller. A finesse jig is going to come with uh, the flare, the collar sticking out here. I'll actually cut it all the way around the top and make the whole thing streamlined with the skirt. You end up with a bigger hook, a weed guard, a bigger rod. You can fish heavier cover with it to where I'm skipping this under docks, pitching reeds with it, brush, you know, a lot of places that you couldn't throw a TRD. Uh, I think you should check out the TRD on the back of a jig. At least give it a try one day when you know you're around some fish. You're going to get more bites with it. It's uh, something I'm still playing around with but thoroughly impressed with so far.